Oke. Okay. Check my test. Where is our video capture? Oke, okay. for those who are absent, I'm repeating my record. We are looking at the syllabus and according to William, the first word of the syllabus is Adventist. That means uh, 28 things of the 28 fundamental beliefs. And number one is the Holy Scriptures. That's why we are, the first thing I ask you to do is to make a day, uh, to download the database of the Bible and to make a search engine because the Bible makes you more intelligent according to Matthew, uh, Psalm 11999, which says, I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimonies are my meditation. Quiz, class, I have a quiz for you. My favorite Bible verse is not the Sabbath, it's here, Isaiah 820. You look here. I know you are programmers, you are logical people. It says here, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according, you, rem you I emphasizing on the according. According to this word, it's not because there, it is because there is no light in them. You know what according means? Okay, I will ask you. If I tell you, uh, after the class, I'm going to PIC. But you, you said, after the class, Servin is going to motor pool. You know where motor pool is? Okay, to Finster. So, is what you said according to what I said? Yes or no? No. Is it opposite? Yeah, because uh, PIC is going there and Finster is going there, right? If I say I'm going to PIC after the class, and you say Serwin is going to Kubo. Is it opposite or no? It's not opposite. It's in the same direction, right? But is it according? No, because it's not exactly the same, right? <clears throat> what does the Bible require for everything that we are doing? It should not be opposite, but it should be according, di ba? I don't know. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according. So if our belief is not according to the Bible, the Bible says is there is no light. Right? So not according doesn't mean you do you can do everything that the Bible says don't do. According means it what you are doing is really there in the Bible. Right? So how will we know if we what we are doing is is according to the Bible? We have to know the Bible, right? That's why I ask you to download the Bible and to I gave you assignment to read the whole Bible, <laughs> which actually you can finish it if you read eight hours a day. You can finish it in in uh, ten days. About eighty nine hours of reading, you can finish the Bible. Even if you listen to MP three, because I counted the MP three. Okay. So the Bible is the most important thing because God's word is the most important thing, di ba? The Bible is the same as Jesus because John 1 says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus, that's why Jesus is called Emmanuel. <clears throat> God with us. Okay. So Isaiah 8.20 class, is the most important verse in the Bible, according to the Bible. Now, according to me, because on this, on this uh, belief, understanding is based all of the fu other fundamental beliefs. There is no fundamental belief that is not according. Or oh, diba, diba class. Do you know what according means? Yeah. So, if you are thinking of something you should look for a Bible verse that supports that idea so that you will know that there is light. Diba, diba? Okay, that's number one. How do you know that the Bible is true? How do you know that the Bible is true? 
because the Bible predicts the future and the history followed the Bible prophecy. Diba? Do you know the future? No. But God knows the future. So, that means it is from God. Diba? When I was a student, I became an atheist. You know what atheist? You know what atheist? Because God is not answering my prayer. Therefore, I, de I, I deleted God from my mind. The Bible says, the fool says, there is no God. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I realized I'm not correct. There is a God because when I was a small child, I fell from my bed, from the double deck bed. When I was three months old, I fell. And then when I fell, you know where I landed? I landed in the pillow <laughs> on the floor. Because my mom put a pillow beside me so that I will not fall. But from somehow, the pillow reached the floor first. And then I'm sleeping on top of the pillow <laughs> in the floor. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe there is a God who helped who sent the angel to make the pillow fall first and make me... Uh, uh, how do I... fall uh, gently on the floor without waking up. Imagine I did not wake up. I fell on the floor but I did not wake up. So, <laughs> there, there must be a God. Yeah? So anyway, <clears throat> that's the Holy Scriptures. We believe the Old and New Testament. You know why? Because Jesus said, according to Moses. Oh, therefore, Moses is there. Because Jesus said, according to Moses. Diba? Furthermore, if you go to Israel, to uh, the, the Middle East, you will find uh, Babylon. You will find Nineveh. You will find Jerusalem. Things that are mentioned in the Bible. What else, class? The Bible is the, ano? Diba you are programmer? You make source code. The Bible is the source code of life. And it is open source. Yeah? God programmed uh, life. You, you are, we, we are programming computers. If the computer is obeying us, it's correct. The computer is good. If the computer is not obeying us, there's a problem with the computer or the problem with the programmer. Diba, diba? So, yeah, that is the... The Holy Scripture is like the source code of the programmer. Wow. Because in if you when you make a program, you declare what is true. You declare what is truth. You declare what are the variables, etc. Okay. What else? How did the Bible come to existence? The Holy Spirit inspired, it, it says here in class, holy men of God were inspired as they are inspired by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Spirit. So, in the span of 1,900 years, many people wrote the same thing and they did not contradict each other. Yeah? And that is called the Bible. Do you know how they how they collected? How does the Bible have 66 books? Do you know why? Do you know how? I attended many seminars about the Bible. And this is what I understand. I understood class. You know, when they discover a library, there are thousands and hundreds of books in the library. How do you know which author, which book is from God? How do you know? You have to read it. How does the, the Jewish people know that, uh, that Moses is from God? Of course, they saw the miracle about the snake. How do the people in the New Testament know that Isaiah is a true prophet? If what Isaiah is saying is according to what Moses was saying, Right? How do you know Moses is true? If what Moses is saying is what also Abraham was saying. How do you know Abraham is, is good guy? 
Because what Abraham was saying was what Adam was saying. At that time, Adam was alive. Uh, how do you know Noah is correct? Because what Noah is saying is what also Adam was saying before. Diba, diba? So you have a reference. Because God does not allow in all generations that there will be no knowledge of God. Yeah? Okay. That is, it says, plus the holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. It says also here, class, that no prophecy is of private interpretation. Meaning, if, if God is sending message, He will not send the message only to one person. No private interpretation. Other prophet will tell the same message. Yeah. So if you want to make sure that it is God's message, God will send different uh, avenue to tell the same thing. What else? Bible verse here. Ito, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. Class, I will tell you a story. There is a man named uh, Clinton Wallen. This is a computer guy. Before he became Adventist, he is a computer science person. He is one of the he is the one one of the top scholars of the Adventist Church. This one, this guy. See, see his name. He was computer science before he became Adventist, and he studied in University of Cambridge, and he is an associate director in biblical research. And I know him because he asked me to make a uh, uh, no the first online examination for uh, Hebrew, I think it was, or Greek, in the whole world. And I did it. He gave me the quiz. He gave me the exam. And I did it in Moodle. And Moodle did not know what to do. So our par I, I made a program to parse his exam and to convert it to Moodle data, which is used in IAS online class. And I found out he used to be a computer scientist before he became Adventist, before he became a Christian. So, I was telling him, I, I like how you defend the ordination of men only, because that is what is in the Bible. So I said, I told him, some people don't understand the word according. If it's not according, it's not in the Bible, then it's not, there is no light in them. And then he, he told me, Win Alfred, because I was sitting beside him at Ayas, he told me, there's another way to know the truth. I said, what, it, what is it? He said, in first in Second Timothy 3.16, it says all scripture. Meaning class, if there is something that is like gray, you know what to do? You read the whole Bible. So that you will see the whole picture. Because it says all scripture, not only some scripture. If you want to know the whole truth, and the big picture, and that it will not contradict with any other truth in the Bible, you have to check the whole Bible. Because the Bible says, all scripture. So how do you study the Bible according to the Bible? Read the whole Bible first, before concluding about something. Diba, diba? That's why uh, in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, we don't change our beliefs. Because we already read the whole Bible. In other denominations, they read only half of the Bible, and then they will make a belief. And then after one year, they will read the whole Bible, and then they will change their belief. Because they did not read everything. As before we put an, ad, another one here, we read everything many times to make sure it doesn't contradict with anything that's there. Because, how, why do we read all? Because the Bible says you read all. All scripture is given by God and profitable for doctrine. Okay. <clears throat> what else? The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Okay. The word of God is very powerful. Even the president of the Philippines, they are afraid of the Bible. That's why when they, even the president of the United States and all the presidents of all the Christian countries, when they put, do their oath, 
they put their hand on top of the Bible, right? So, the Bible is very powerful. In fact, class, the Word of God can resurrect you. Do you, do you understand? Your friends cannot resurrect you. Your money cannot resurrect you. Your program cannot resurrect you. Your, what else? AUP cannot resurrect you. Your government cannot resurrect you. Your parents cannot resurrect you. Only God's word can resurrect you. Right? 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 When Jesus said, Lazarus, you come out. And Lazarus is resurrected. So, who will be, who will we be loyal to, class? Your friend or the Bible? Bible. Why? Because Bible is stronger, right? The Bible can resurrect us. Imagine. That's why many people, they died for the Bible. Because the Bible can resurrect. Diba, diba? So God will refund everything that you suffer because of the truth. No problem. The God's word can resurrect us. Someday, Jesus will come. He will call uh, Will, Will, Wilson. <laughs> come forth. If Wilson repented of all his sins. Yeah? But repenting is also free. So no problem. Trinity. Okay, number two. Do you, do you understand the Bible? Do you believe the Bible? Have you read the Bible? How can we know if... Uh, Bible? By the way, the Holy Spirit will also remind us of all things that we have read. But if we did not read. So my assignment to you class, please read the whole Bible. You can read it very fast if you play your MP3 very fast. Oh, the other is MP3 King James <laughs> for free. There is plenty of them. And just, just play it very fast so that it will not be boring and so that you will not fall asleep. Okay, number two. The Bible is very important, yeah? Bible. That's why that is the first thing we did also. And it will make you smarter than your picture. Second, Trinity. Okay. Now the question is, where is this in the Bible? Ah, it is there. It says in Matthew 18, baptizing them in the name on the, of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Ghost. That's why after this week, last week there was baptism. This week, I hope there will be baptism again. <clears throat> because Jesus said we should go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. That's why many nations come to my class and I teach them. Okay. Because who told, you, who told me to teach? The Bible. Jesus said when he left, go and teach. But you are coming to my class and paying tuition and I'm teaching. And giving you A. <laughs> Very easy. No problem. Here, O Israel, our, our God is one. So we have one God, but it says here, <clears throat> Father and Son and Holy Spirit. But the Bible also says there is one God. Do you know why there is one God, but there are three persons? We cannot understand. You know why? God doesn't fit in mathematics. Oh, God doesn't fit in English or in Greek or in Hebrew. God is bigger than our dictionary than our mathematics. Okay. But there are there is God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God the Father is the Creator. Okay. Who programmed the whole universe? God. You know what? I typed about uh, 60,000 lines of code for Iolis. But God created heaven and earth. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> My, st my student, Sir Ian, he made my AAP life book. But God made heaven and earth. Imagine. <clears throat> so God is the great programmer. Source, and he is also the electricity. Who invented electricity class? Who? Uh, there is invention, that is discovery. God invented electricity, then somebody discovered it. <laughs> Sustainer, yeah, we are alive because of God. 
Because God programmed our heart to be alive. The God programmed our lungs to keep on breathing. God programmed the, the sun to come out every morning. That's why God is the sustainer. You know, I, I planted a tree. I forgot to water the tree. And it died. Or I think it's almost dead. But we are alive because God sustains us. Sovereign of all creation. You know what sovereign means? Sovereign means what is sovereign? It's supreme ruler. Or ultimate power. Okay. He is just and holy and merciful and gracious and slow to anger. You know why we are still alive? Even if uh, we did many bad things? Because God is slow to anger. And abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Okay, that is God the Father. God the Son is Jesus Christ. He became Jesus Christ, who is our boss, the whole center of the whole Bible. Do you know how many prophecies are there in the Bible about Jesus Christ? It is since Genesis 3. Okay, Jesus Christ lived a perfect life. He did not sin. And He is our example. Yeah. He suffered and died voluntarily on the cross. In our place. And was raised from the dead. Mabuti na lang. If Jesus Christ can raise himself from the dead, then he can raise us also from the dead, right? When we die. Okay. He will come again in glory. When Jesus comes, all the cheaters will hide under the rocks. <laughs> See? <clears throat> and then we also have the Holy Spirit. This is God, the eternal spirit, active with the Father in creation. Who, who is telling us that uh, what we are doing is wrong? You know what? I will tell you a story class. When I was second year college, I was reading all of the, you know when you install software, you, you reading, I was reading the end user license agreement and I found out what I am doing is illegal. I am installing all the pirated software in the whole world. I am buying all the pirated software in the mall and installing it in my computer. So when I was second year college, the Holy Spirit convicted me, I will not use any pirated software anymore. So I had a business, I was doing typing job. From that time on until now, I, I, I do not use pirated software. Wow. Diba? So, what did I do? I use free software. The nice thing is there is Linux and there is uh, LibreOffice. <clears throat> so, who is convicting the world of sin? It is the Holy Spirit. And that's why there are many foolish people like me before who are trying to by God's grace to behave. Yeah. Creation. Did we come from monkey or not? Okay. If we came from monkey, why is monkey still around? Diba? <laughs> if we came from monkeys, why are monkeys still around? Some of them forgot to become humans. That means the monkey is still a monkey and the human is was a human. The proof is that the Genesis 1 said, God created us in the sixth day. And on the seventh day, God stopped creation, creating. God also stopped creating the food. And God did His work. And God said that there is very, it is, the world is very good. Imagine, how many, how many days to create your program, my friends? Many days. How many days did God create heaven and earth? Just by speaking. Six days. Yeah? I tell you, God is very great. The best programmer. Okay. Nature of man. God created us perfect. 
But because of sin, we are erroneous. But because of the Holy Spirit, God is restoring. When we repent, we, God restores us to the image of God. Okay. That is the nature of man. It's very amazing. You know, your brain cells have 100. There you have 100 billion brain cells when you are born. When you are grown out, it's 86 billion na lang daw. And each of those brain cells have about 7,000 to 50,000 other connections to other brain cells. So 100 billion times 7,000 or times 50,000, dami di ba? Let's try to calculate. Let's see if the calculator can. 100 billion. How many brain cells do how many brain cells does human have? 86 billion brain cells. How many how many uh, synapses? How many connections can one neuron make? About 15,000 daw connections. So 86 billion how, how is billion? Like this is thousand. That is million. This is billion. Times 15,000. This is the number of uh, class. This is the number of uh, in, in AI, this is called the model size. This is the model size of your of, of human mind. If, I, if, you, if you download model, there is ChatGPT, there is Llama uh, 2B, 7B, etc. This is the model size of human intelligence per human. How many humans have ever lived? How many humans have ever lived? <clears throat> No, 100 billion, 109 billion, 177 billion. Oh, how can, how can I compute that? Each human, this has this is the number of things in the in the mind of each human. You multiply it with 177 billion. Okay, let's multiply. Times, what is times? Times one one seven billion this is hundred thousand million billion okay class let's see if the calculator will crash <coughs> the number is so big we run out of space to display it okay we cannot display the number class it's very big it's uh, exponent uh, 26 that is how much god has to save, to save all the characters of all the people who have ever lived. That's how big God's computer is. That is just for restoring from backup. Diba when we die, our hardware decays, but our character, God will reinstall the character, restore from backup. God will not change character. We have to change the character now. Because when Jesus comes, God will just judge us. He will not replace, He will not become better. So we have to change our character now. But when our body decays, where is God going to save the character, the, 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 know, the model size of our AI? God is going to save it somewhere. And this is how many, how much uh, bytes he needs. <laughs> this number. For 117. But not just only for restoring from backup. The Bible says God is saving all our thoughts. Imagine. Not only the concluding character, but also everything that you ever thought of is saved in God's database. So God has a very, 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 very big, big database that saved all our thoughts. Even our secrets are saved in that database. Imagine. So we have to repent. When we repent, class, God erases our sins. Yeah. Okay. 
<clears throat> now you are really amazed that God is very big. Okay, number... Anong oras na ba? It's already almost 10. Great controversy. Where did sin start? Adam and Eve? Uh, for, for earth, Adam and Eve. But in the whole universe, Satan. Yes. Satan in heaven. Why did he become Satan? Because he is handsome and beautiful and uh, skillful. And that's why if you think you are handsome and beautiful and talented, you be careful. <laughs> Do not become proud. Okay? Because even if we are handsome and beautiful and talented, God is still creator. Yeah? We are still creature. God is big, 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 and we are smaller. It's like I-7 and uh, calculator. <laughs> okay. The great controversy, the, the, what is the controversy in the great controversy? You know what, the, what is the controversy in the great controversy? Who is going to be obeyed? Who will be, who will be followed? Is it God or Satan? That's why Satan wants to fake everything. God said, salvation is free. The Bible says, Ephesians 2, 8, you are saved by grace. Satan said, you know what, let's make a uh, fundraising. If they donate, we will tell them they are saved. Oh, God wants, Satan wants to fake everything. The Bible says, baptize and come out of the water. But Satan says, let's save water. Let's just sprinkle. Because the water is uh, expensive. And then when they uh, finish sprinkling, but that is, is that according to the Bible? No, according to the Bible, baptism is going under the water and coming out, right? That's why according is very important. It has to be according to the Bible to make sure that it's correct. God said, marriage is man and woman. But Satan says, even if you are both men, it's okay. Or you are both women, it's okay. So, Satan wants to change everything that God is saying. Because he is proud. He said he wants his ideas to be obeyed rather than God's ideas. Okay. Who is going to win the great controversy? Of course, God. There is no question. And self-exaltation. So anyway, how many angels are evil? One third. That means there are, if there you find, if you see, if you meet an evil angel, you just have to call God for help and he will send two. Because God has two times the number of angels as Satan. Because only one third of the angels believe Satan. When you need help, God will send two. Of course, the other one will run away because <laughs> even one angel, because this is good, good, good angel, he can drive away the other angel. But it depends on us. Which one, who are we obeying? Diba? Okay. That is the great controversy. But we have no more time. We will continue later. <clears throat> so the great controversy is about uh, you, you just remember my name. My name is uh, Pasamba. Pasamba in Tagalog is worship. Oh. The, the issue in the great controversy is who to worship. Are we worshiping whoever we obey? Him is our God. So if, we, if God says stand up and you don't stand up, <laughs> there is something wrong with you. If Satan says you stand up and then you stand up, is there something wrong with standing up? It depends who told you, right? Okay. <clears throat> so this is half of the. Since we are running, we are no more time. We will continue discussing great controversy, uh, the fundamental beliefs next meeting, and let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for opportunity to discuss uh, fundamental beliefs and the Bible, and thank you for being the great programmer and declaring the truths and letting us know the what you require and uh, how you did everything. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.